Good day, YouTubers, and welcome to the vlog. So I am driving up to Barry because uh, it's my mother-in-law's birthday, and instead of doing a dinner, we thought we'd do a lunch, and we're going to a place called Cora's in Barry. And uh, so all morning I worked my butt off trying to get my last dance recital done. And so right now I'm burning discs, making labels, uh, making my second DVD and doing all the, what's it called, authoring of the next DVD because there's two, two pieces to the DVD. It's like show, first half of the show, second half of the show. So I'm already engaged in <clears throat> duplicating the first half of the show and got all the labels done. But I just realized one, one uh, or two of the shows did a lot more DVD sales than normal, so I miscounted. So I'm short like 40 cases, probably 40 uh, labels, and I was about 50 DVDs short of my goal uh, or of my product. So, and I also have to go up. Uh, so what I have to do is when I'm up in Barry, I gotta buy some more product. Although it's not the same product as what I'm what I buy from. There's a place out in, in uh, Kitchener, and that's where I get all my stuff. It's called uh, BlankMedia.ca, and they've got really good and inexpensive, good quality stuff. And so that's where I usually buy my stuff. I just underestimated how much stuff I would need, which is a good thing. Uh, it's better than overestimating. I've got all this product lying around, I guess. Um, although this is kind of a pain but it's working out because I got to go up there anyway for lunch and while I'm up there I'm gonna print the case labels and then I will be uh, going to lunch picking up the case labels after that and then heading back home to finish this job off and uh, that's about it I'll have to answer some of your questions later on today because I'm just really busy trying to get all this stuff done and I also have to put together the hundred thousandth subscriber slash uh, ghost pepper challenge video together for tomorrow uh, but that usually goes up at eight o'clock so I've got the rest of today and tomorrow to, to finish that off it doesn't look like it's gonna be a hard edit it's gonna be like almost a straight through shoot it's about 10 minutes long I think we did it for so I probably won't edit anything out you guys can see every single little bit <laughs> all right it's lunchtime I'll be right back and we're back I'm stuck at the set of lights behind a huge truck and I'm not going to get through. So I thought I'd answer a question, quickly looked at my emails and John Savage asked, what happened to my ride-on lawnmower? And uh, the whole deck rotted out. Uh, I tried my best for a couple of years to every year drop the deck right off and just take all the, the uh, grass out of there and, and get it good to go. Um, but just over the years, it just rotted through and it just fell apart. So the tractor itself is still good, but the, uh, but the deck's gone. So I have this really nice tractor with no mower attachment. <laughs> And I don't know how much it would cost to replace it. And it's just like, well, at this point in time, I have like $160 cheap ass lawnmower that's doing the trick. Just getting on the highway, people. So we are heading north on the 400 series highway. We have the 404, 407, 401. If most Americans, when they come up here, they, they call it the 401. That's when you know they're American, when they ask for directions. Uh, do you know where the 401 is? You're from the States, aren't you? And they're like, how'd you know? <laughs> they're like, is it the accent? Nope. It's because you said 401. Scott Daniels asked if uh, I could get my wife in more of the videos. And like I said before in a, a bunch of videos, uh, my wife and my daughter don't like being in the videos. So that's why you never see them. Uh, Carol actually popped her head into a live show one time, which totally blew my mind that she just kind of put her head into the camera and just said, hi everybody. <laughs> it was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe you just showed everybody who you are. It was just, Carol's funny, like one minute she doesn't like it, next minute she thought she'd pop her head in. I don't know why, but she just did. Uh, but in the upcoming vlogs, uh, so, so we're going away on Monday, and so Carol and I are leaving for Costa Rica Monday, so it's gonna be, it's my anniversary, so I'm gonna be, 
I want to vlog everything, but it's my anniversary too, and I don't want to interfere too much with my anniversary. So uh, my vlogging, I don't know how it's going to work at this point in time. Like I said, I just don't want to turn this into a, a vlogging trip when I'm supposed to be on my anniversary with my wife. So I'm going to try and get her in a couple things. Uh, so look forward to that. If she's not in, Sorry guys, she doesn't want to be in it. So, and of course the same with my daughter. She actually came to Paul's house and was sitting there in the, in the crowd of people. And I asked her at the last second, are you sure you want to be in the video? And she's like, no. Then I'm like, okay. But she was all ready to be in it. And she, I guess she just doesn't know what, how to act in it. She's not, she just doesn't like being in front of a camera. Ben doesn't care. <laughs> That's why you see him all the time. All right, I just finished dropping off my labels. I have to come back at 3.30 to pick them up and it saves me a crap load of money. So this is a perfect situation. So I drop off my labels. They'll be printed in like an hour and a half to two hours. I can go have my lunch, come back and save myself money. That's what it's all about. Money and profit. <laughs> So there's my lunch, guys. Check it out. Eggs Benedict's. Yummy. So we had lunch. I hope you guys saw the picture. Of my, well, I guess I just videotaped my lunch and showed you. Where do we park? Over there. So I just picked up my printing from Staples. And the wind's probably going to mess up this camera big time. So how was lunch, Ben? It was really good and a lot of food. What did you have? I didn't take a picture of yours. I had an omelette that was wrapped in a crepe and it was like western cheddar cheese. So it was an omelette rolled in a crepe and then hollandaise sauce all over it. Yeah. Oh my, that, that looked really good. good. And my Eggs Benedict was one of the best Eggs Benedict I've ever had. And I've had a lot of Eggs Benedict over the years. Mm. It's even better than mine. Hey guys, I got bad news now. Uh, I just got an email from YouTube and it uh, basically is a complaint against my halal street food video. And so somebody, basically the violation is at 20 seconds. So on that video, the only thing that happens at 20 seconds is I show the guys getting my food ready. And it was funny, like when I do out, this is the problem with what I do and, and just videotaping downtown Toronto or downtown New York, is somebody sees themselves, all I have to do is put a violation in there and now my, my video is gonna be either shut down, have to react within 24 hours, which really sucks, or sorry, 48 hours I've got, or they will, either possibly give me a strike against my channel, um, but I have to go through it again, make sure all the information is there or not. So I might have to upload that again, like go through and it's like blur out all the people's pictures uh, that are at the 29 seconds. So this really sucks. Uh, that video kind of took off and, and it's got 41,000 views on it now, I think. I just don't want to show that picture again. Um, so, like I said, it was at 29 seconds, and, I, and at that at that moment, I show the guys cooking the food, and there's a girl standing behind them. So it doesn't tell me who vi uh, is sending the violation in, but like I said, it really sucks. It's 42,000 views, and it has uh, 1,800 thumbs up. And um, one of the other problems, I guess, with this video is, I guess, halal is like a Muslim type food and it created a huge backlash of people fighting back and forth and it was all about religion and uh, anyway so that video I'm not sure what to do I got 48 hours to decide great it's not like I'm busy right now um, yeah I, I really I wish they were really specific they say at 29 but you know, is the person at 29 seconds? Are they again later on? I don't I don't think it would be the guys that were cooking, but they're the guys that are like a pro prominent right there in front. When I was there and I was videotaping, they kind of were like acting in front of the camera. So it wasn't like one of them came up to me later on and said, hey, you know what? I didn't want to be in your video. Uh, please take me out of the video or whatever. That would have, 
anyway, like I said, this is uh, one of the, the problems with with YouTube and, and videotaping outside. That's, you know, if you shoot in your house, you'll never have a violation problem. And, uh, but because I shot this downtown New York, now I've got a problem. So wish me luck on this one. All right, guys, I'm going to be signing off. Uh, I just want to let you know I got my contract from Maker and uh, I sent it off. I read through it and I sent it off to my mom who's really good at that kind of legal stuff. So she's checking it out and then we're going to uh, create a bunch of questions and send the questions back to Maker. Because some of the stuff, it just reads really unclear, I guess you could say. So we just want to make sure it's crystal clear. We got, we both understand each other and then everything will go ahead and that will be awesome. Uh, again, I'm really pissed off about the, the Hala video i hate losing forty-two thousand. so what when we read the email a couple more times it actually basically says you know if you don't do anything in the next 48 hours they will review it and then they will i guess make sure it's justified that this person is making this claim uh and if they feel that it's justified claim then they'll they'll take the video down and once they've taken the video down then i'll re-upload it with uh, blurred out faces possibly take some of the audio out because we don't know what the guys at the cart are saying uh it is i don't speak their language so it is possible that they may have said something personal at 29 seconds so if anybody uh knows I'm not even sure what language they were speaking at the halal carts. Uh, if you know what language they're speaking and you know what they're saying, let me know in the comments below just in case that's what uh, the violation is. I don't know. Anyway, so I'll let YouTube figure it out. I just hope I don't get a strike against my channel. That would suck. Just when I'm signing with a big uh, partnership uh, network and I get verified next thing you know ken gets a strike against this channel i don't think it'll be a strike i think it'll just strip the the video off and that will be done with it anyway guys thanks for watching kbd productions tv and my vlogs and my main channel and everything no kitties today no they're not my cats i guess somebody asked are they my cats and i'm like no my, my neighbor's cats over there and they're just really friendly and he's not home all the time so they gravitate to our property because i'm home every day talk to you guys